Hey everybody, Northern Lion, Binding of Isaac, Isaac Run. Back after a very, very hard-fought loss, unfortunately, in that last episode. I know some people hate seeing spoilers, but... Or hate hearing spoilers, but you should go watch the episodes in order if you actually worry about stuff like that. Plus, you know, you know I win some, I lose some. I don't think that's, uh, you know, a major thing to say right now. I'm really actually excited about uh, the fact that there is... Uh, a, a playing card there. Because what are my options there? You got the Two of Hearts card. Not very useful for me, admittedly. Joker card. Snag a deal with the devil. Sounds amazing, right? Uh, two of Spades. Actually would give me some keys, allow me to go to both item rooms. Two of Clubs. Gives me some bombs and allows me to open up more stuff in the future. So, I'm interested in how that's going to turn out. Let's put it that way. But with only one bomb, I may actually want to use it to gain the uh, 11 cents that are actually in that one rock over there. I'm kind of spoiled for choice for how to use my one and only starting bomb. We'll check out our item room first because we have a reroll available. And um, then we'll, we'll maybe make a decision after that. I know that we could use this key to go to the shop instead. All right, Shoop the Whoop is terrible, of course. But um, we'll, we'll choose how to handle this in just a second. So there's Shoop the Whoop. Shoop the Whoop has been re-rolled. It has become Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls has given me Tammy's head, effectively making this one of the most useless item rooms of all fucking time. Um, we should get at least one more re-roll. I mean, we definitely will get at least one more re-roll, but I'm hoping that we get one before we even have our uh, boss room sections uh, coming up. There's another key, so that's good. We can at least open up the shop or our other item room. This floor is actually, for as far as XL floors go at least, it's, it's turning out fairly well. Might be able to find a secret room while also getting that 11 cent pile over there, but I don't really want to risk missing out on the money to try to get like a 1 in, you know, 4 chance of getting the secret room. I would say our odds of getting a deal with the devil on this floor are looking pretty muted so far. Careful. There we go. Uh, it's not like we were going to find a secret room in this room anyway. I think I will go inside of our item room. We're going to play it safe so far. No funky stuff with the arcades. Or sorry, the, with the shop. Goat Hoof is fine. It's not very good, but it's the speed upgrade, which is nice until we get something better. Monstro's Tooth, pretty much equally as bad as Dead Sea Scrolls. So this is a, you know, a, a well-warranted reroll, I'd say. Reroll this bad boy into Technology 2, which is actually... Finally, very exciting. So we should get one more reroll over the course of this floor. There's another um, good opportunity to use a D6, or not D6, but our, our one bomb here. I'm really hoping that we get another bomb so that I can get both the 11 cents as well as that uh, two of X card. It could be two of diamonds as well, which I would really regret if we only had one bomb, wouldn't I? Uh, because we would use that to get the two of diamonds without actually getting the, uh, the money, but anyway. There's a little bit of money for us. We don't have a key to access the shop either, so we've got all sorts of little little weird things going on here. Lots of concerns that don't always present themselves. Again, I would say that we have a very low chance of getting a deal with the devil here, but I could be wrong. We'll see. If nothing else, at least getting Technology 2 on this floor means that we've gained something. Something of value. And we haven't found our boss room yet, which means it actually seems pretty likely that there could be uh, even another reroll able to be milked from this floor. Possibly. I'm guessing that one of these rooms, like one of these dead ends, is going to have a, uh, a curse room or a self-sacrifice room, depending on how you want to phrase it. Uh, but uh, the other direction will have two bosses, so all we need is one room to actually have some enemies in it, and, and then we can generate the rerolls that we need. But, for now, we now have two bombs. So we're definitely going to be picking up the 11 cents. I mean, that's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. One bomb for 11 cents, especially so early on, is a great deal. First, we're going to come back here and just reroll Dead Sea Scrolls. It's Ghost Baby. It might be a special item, but I'm going to take it. And I think the way we use our bombs now is we, we get the 11 cents. And I'm not going to risk, you know, fucking around with trying to find the second secret room here. Or the regular secret room, for that matter. And I think we use our other bomb to get the playing card. And it, it may end up not being as useful as I want it to be. But it may end up being exactly as useful as I want it to be. It's the Joker, which is great. So that's going to be our deal with the devil. And if we have another reroll, we'll, we'll use it for that, presumably. This could be our way to the bosses, and there wasn't another room here. We, oh, we also have two of diamonds. So good. Okay. How are we going to do this? I really can't believe how many rerolls we're actually going to be able to get on this floor. We'll probably only be able to use one more, effectively, but now we can open up that tinted rock as well. And uh, I'm just going to pop two of diamonds right away. There's a chance we could have gotten more money. Uh, before using it, but so be it. And now hope, I'm hoping we get another key so that I can actually access this, uh, the shop now that we have 26 cents. I mean, that would give us a place to actually use some rerolls and 
This is where the Tinted Rock was. Okay. Should have checked for the secret room over here. Might not have mattered. That's what I was hoping for. We got a key out of that. Uh, now we get a good item from our shop and everything starts coming out Millhouse already. Um, you know, Technology 2, Ghost Baby, not incredible items, but... Uh, being able to go to... Well, Technology 2 is pretty good. But being able to go to the shop so early and still have some money left over after buying absolutely nothing. Uh, we'll, we'll buy the, uh, the key there. Which is not particularly useful yet, but... For three cents, it's worth it, and um, what's done is done, so let's just move on. So the shop, it's fair to say, didn't turn out as well as I, I hoped that it would, but as far as first floors go, and as far as, you know, the, the best and worst case scenarios for XL floors, this is pretty close to the best case scenario. It certainly could be a lot worse, and it has been a lot worse in the in the past. So we'll get uh, we'll get one more reroll. It's up to us when to use it. I think I'll probably not use the Joker card to teleport to the boss right away. That's another key, which is excellent. Uh, and instead, we'll just fight first, because I'd, I'd rather see if we actually manage to gain some more HP uh, when it comes to taking those deals with the devil, because I'd hate to take a too hard deal with the devil for something that wasn't, like, truly game-winning, and then find out, like, oh, I actually didn't gain any more HP from my boss rooms, which, of course, you would expect to do. At, at least one of these rooms you would expect to pay out with HP or something close to it. Pentagram. Lovely. Even better. Um, so that's going to make us... Very, very strong, and then we're going to get a cube of meat, so we aren't going to get any extra HP, uh, but we are going to become substantially stronger as a result of uh, these items that we've gotten. So I'm happy about this, but I, uh, I'm concerned about our deal with the devil. It, you know, if we get a deal with the devil without actually having to use the Joker card, even better. Is it worth using it on this floor? I think it is, even though our HP is bad. Okay, it, it was, because we're going to end up getting a free item from Krampus. And, uh... You know, the Krampus lump of coal is probably not going to end up helping us out too much with technology because I believe it's based on how long the sh like the damage bonus is based on how long the shots are in the air. And obviously with technology, it's it's instant or nearly instant. That being said, uh, I'm happy to get an item for free. We could re-roll it if we want to, but I don't re-roll lump of coal. That's the, the definition of looking a gift horse in the mouth right there. And we're very well set up to go to the next floor, which I really hope is not XL. If it's not XL, we're guaranteed to have a non... Uh, Notched Axe in the shop. We could reroll Notched Axe. Why didn't I do that? We should go back and do that. Yeah, we're even over here. I could have gotten... I could have squeezed another reroll out of this. That's my bad, but this floor has still turned out quite nicely. In my opinion, at least. So... It's Blue Candle. I don't really like Blue Candle enough in this situation to buy it. And I thought about buying Notched Axe and then rerolling it, and we could have taken two of the items out of the rotation that, that way, but it would have also cost us 15 cents that I'm not excited about. Not going to look for the secret room with only one bomb. Let's move along. I'm feeling pretty good about this floor. No HP, but Pentagram, Technology 2, Cube of Meat, Ghost Baby, Lump of Coal. Those are pretty solid upgrades. 23 cents, one bomb, two keys as well, and uh, hopefully a more worthwhile shop on the next floor. Let's see, though. Goat Hoof as well. You know, can't lie about Goat Hoof. It's, it exists. It's an item, or it's a trinket, more accurately. There probably goes our deal with the devil chances on this floor, but that's not totally unexpected as a result of that being kind of a tricky room. So, Super Wrath. Not my favorite mini boss to fight. Uh, pretty much ever. Oh, I got stuck there. That was bad. This could get even worse. He's almost dead, though. Troll bombs are just the most annoying shit. Okay, thank you for the key at least, and the, the extra bombs are nice. Let's try not to die on this floor. We have run into two uh, pretty difficult rooms right off the bat, and we could end up encountering more, unfortunately. Those two keys alone do not necessarily make ladder a good purchase, if it is available here, but it does give me some pause to think about it. There we go. None have it. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely buy that. I kind of like three cents for a key again as well. So our rerolls are not going to be a problem for us at all. I kind of like Goat Hoof in our situation more than Isaac's head, to be honest with you. You might disagree. And I think you're okay to disagree, but just a familiar versus a stat upgrade. I kind of prefer the stat upgrade in this case. Uh, sure. Three cents for a bomb. Not a terrible trade. Enough money to maybe make the shop worthwhile on the next floor, or at least, you know, start moving in that general direction. Very important that we don't take damage on any room where it's not, not, I mean, it's never mandatory to take damage, of course, but any room where it's not expected. So that uh, Hanged Man card is essentially two keys, actually. Unless we wanted to pick up the Magnet, which we totally don't because it sucks. So, 
we will uh, come back down here, pop this hangman card, and pick up two of these bad boys. No hard feelings there, I'm excited about that. Obviously, I'm not taking chocolate milk, especially with technology. It, it still might be statistically beneficial, but it sucks for my repetitive stress injuries, um, which I don't have, but I don't want to get. So, this floor, maybe not super exciting. It doesn't really look... Eh, I, I'll take Counterfeit Penny instead. It doesn't really look like I'll probably have a good chance of getting a deal with the Devil, and it does look like we're going to be saddled with the, the Magnet, unfortunately. And I'd like to be able to go to the Curse Room, but that does not appear to be super likely right now. But I, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'm stoked to be fighting the Fallen. E very easy boss for the potentiality of great items. Of course, he could just end up giving us the Ouija board, which would be more or less worthless, but he could end up giving us, like, Mom's Knife, for example. Or Sister Maggie, which is also, you know, pretty bad, all things considered. So, yes, I'm gonna do it. Um, that does give us a reroll, thanks to Nun's Habit. What do we have in here? Not excited about that. So I put myself in a bit of a, a fucked up situation. That shouldn't be a surprise. Spider butt is actually sort of worse than the magnet. Do I, is there really no HP left for me to get here? Am I gonna have to tough it out and not get hit at all? That's exciting. Sure, down to the next floor, I guess. Catacombs 2, even better, because uh, I wanted to make sure that I put myself in the most fucked up situation possible. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, well, like, why'd you take that deal if you didn't want to be low on HP? It's not like it was... It's not like the item was secret or anything like that and you got fucked into it. Fucked into it? Doesn't really make any sense. And you're not wrong! That being said, I was really thinking that there would be at least a half heart available for me to do something with. Rerolls are ready. Lard! Okay, so that all is forgiven now. We're gonna be slow as molasses, but we can fly so it's not that bad and we have maybe one more hit of survivability depending on the enemies we come across. And the thing that really worries me is if we end up coming across uh, enemies like those... Uh, oh, thank God. Those, uh, sh green turret shooters? Because if they hit us, we'd, we would die in one hit. And we'd be too slow to get away. Speaking of which, good luck to the police out there on their chase. Um, but yes, I, uh, you know, I'm aware of the risks. The fact that we got our HP back from that deal with the devil so quickly is exceptionally lucky. But, you know, you gotta make your own luck sometimes. So there's the demon judgment. Demon judgment's great. We can use it to generate pretty much as many rerolls as we want. And even though things look dire for just a little bit there, this is a run where I think we have uh, an incredible amount of uh, potential to get a fairly easy win, even though it might not look so easy right now. Um, hopefully we get small rock here, even though the speed upgrade or speed downgrade would be bad. So, you know, it's your, your standard problem. Which do we go to first with our HP? Do we go to the Blood Bank or do we go to the Demon Judgment? I think we go to the Demon Judgment for now. We'll see, though. I just want to get some more red hearts at this point. I was hoping that this would happen. Maybe we can have a chance to actually get something to re-roll. I mean, we can get something to re-roll from Demon Judgment, but it's not like we can get that many plays. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So, Book of Revelations sucks, but it should guarantee us a second level cube of meat. Book of Revelations doesn't suck. That's that's a shots fired type moment right there, but it, it sucks for us in our current situation. So these are the guys I was worried about, but they're also um, not going to be able to kill me in one hit anymore. I could probably trick them into blowing up that tinted rock, but, you know, why bother? Yes. Awful. Alright, well, let's see what we've got going on here. It's gonna be Pestilence, as we knew. Uh, could have played, like, Demon Judgment once to guarantee us a reroll after this fight. Wouldn't be the worst idea. We were gonna play it anyway. Probably should have done that, in all honesty, but... We are very offensively potent right now. We do have a deal with the Devil. We do have, uh... Well, we've got a lot of HP now. Let's see what we got going on in here. We got the mark. Dare I do it again? Honestly, I can't. As much as I would love to, I can't. I really can't. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, and the reason I didn't play more is because, uh... Or the reason I didn't hurt myself and then reroll is because I don't want to give up this HP. Our, we're offensively good, defensively fine. More likely to get offensive items in the future. That makes things slightly riskier. So, play you once, get a reroll. Well, that was fast. Two of hearts. That's very useful, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, so we'll, we'll use this reroll, the only way I know how, on the shop over here to try to get a map, compass, nine volt, etc. I'll take it. It's early, so I don't think the battery's so bad. 
And now we don't have anything to use rerolls on. So we can kind of just go as hard as we want on the uh, on Demon Judgment here. Hopefully he'll pay out with enough money or enough HP left for us to actually get to the arcade. So he gave me Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom is garbage. Uh, but what it does allow me to do is pop this Two of Hearts card and then we'll get rerolls by coming down here and playing on the Blood Bank instead. And hopefully we don't need any more rerolls after that because the, the reroll shop is going to be closed. And we have Counterfeit Penny, so uh, playing the Blood Bank is a smart idea. In my opinion, at least. Should be able to get to a secret room as well. There's only three-ish possible locations. Two-ish possible locations for it, actually. Alright, Mr. Boom gets rerolled into the Book of Sin, which is also pretty bad, but... He gave us a Tears Upgrade pill, so even if we don't get anything else out of it, that was well worth it, I'd say. And we might as well keep trying to milk these individual advantages, man, because you never know when the game's gonna turn that good item and good luck faucet off. There's our um, shop money, and we'll probably get a good deal more than that as well in the future. Let's start looking for our secret room, only two reasonable locations. And we found it on the first one, which is always nice. And we get Book of Belial. Uh, I'd say we reroll Book of Belial now. Yes! Oh, sweet baby, gentle, secular Jesus. That is a, a wonderful item for us. Uh, we've gained four HP on this floor, in addition to a number of spirit hearts. Also gives us way more plays on this blood bank, which means way more rerolls on the other item. Raw liver! It's not always the best item that you can get in the secret room. Of course, I'm excluding fetus items here, but um, it's not always the best item that you can get in the secret room, but it's often the best item you can get in the secret room. And then we got skinny odd mushroom, or sorry, fat odd mushroom. Slows us down, uh, which is a little problematic, uh, but gives us more HP, so we actually gained five HP on this floor, and of course gives us uh, that extra damage as well, which I'm super stoked to have. Now, I would totally, thank you very much for that. Um, I was just about to say, I would totally love to get the, uh, speed upgrade via the blood bank. And we gained 6 HP on the catacombs too. I hope that deal with the devil is still there because I would totally take the mark right now. It's not. And I totally should have taken the mark, although I might not have had the HP capacity to, to play everything as hard as I did if I ended up doing that. Uh, so we've come across an interesting situation here. I think I will end up going to the library, but we'll hold off for just a second. I should have done that instead of picking up that, or, you know, opening and rerolling that golden chest. Considering we have Nun's Habit Battery, I don't even know if the battery will be useful because Nun's Habit will already give us so much, but, um... Considering I had that, we're gonna get a ton of rerolls for this library, and I would expect it to, uh, become a double item room very, very quickly. And we should not have to worry about greed on this floor, either. In, is my guess, at least. Uh, well, now we definitely know that we're not gonna have to worry about greed. This is shaping up to be a wonderful technological type run here. Temperance. So fucking good in this situation, because we can use Temperance inside of the arcade to generate as many rerolls as we'll ever need. And possibly give us more HP as well. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely coming down here. We've already knocked, like, three or four books out of the equation. Revelation, Sin, Belial. Now we reroll these. Uh, and we even have Book of Shadows backing us up here, um, which, yeah, we'll, we'll use Book of Shadows to play this. I kind of don't want it to pay out with the, oh, I wonder if I, if I pick this up, well, it'll lower our invincibility. No, we still don't take damage, so we still don't get any benefit from, uh, the Nun's Habit here, but that's okay. We got a, a lot of extra money there. I was gonna say a few extra pennies, but it ended up being a decent amount of extra money. Reroll again. Two Necronomicons. Which means we'll pick up one, and then our double item room shenanigans should be able to start. Yep, Unicorn Horn, Spelunker's Hat. So we'll use Unicorn Horn. Again, I don't think this will work with Nun's Habit, but I want to try. How do I feel about Spelunker's Hat? I feel like Spelunker's Hat is not good enough when we have this beautiful opportunity ahead of us. So we'll reroll both of them. The Mitre, we will definitely take. What are our pills here? Tears up. Very nice. This, this game is being broken wide open right now. We roll the pills. It becomes Poison Touch. Not quite good enough, and it'll probably show up later. The poop? Terrible. We'll pop that down. Uh, and we'll do another two plays here. It becomes Luckfoot, which we will absolutely take. Luckfoot will give us... Um, all, only good pills. Now we'll get to work on getting more HP back so we can start rerolling Able as much as we want. So we gained the Miter and the Luckfoot there. Um, two very powerful items in the right hands at least. And we'll get some money. We have 65 cents too. I mean, if we ever end, end up coming across money equals power, that's worth noting. Now all we have to do is not die and we put ourselves in a very good position. Uh, so we reroll Able. 
Abel gets rerolled into a range upgrade, which is pretty bad. We haven't even come across our item room or shop yet, or not to mention our boss room or a curse room or anything along those lines, and yet we, we find ourselves having grown exceptionally more powerful from this floor alone. Thank God for that. Spirit heart. I'm having a lot of fun on this run. I hope that's contagious. I hope you're having a lot of fun on this run as well. In any case, let's move down here, and we do have our first item room. It's, well, our only item room if you don't count that double item room we got from the shop already. Pills are tears upgrade. Can't really complain about that. We get the D20, which, again, allows for some interesting situations. Uh, this will give us a reroll. And all pills are good now, so I'm not too perturbed by this. We got a speed upgrade, very nice, in our situation. And telepills that has taken us far, far away, but directly next to the shop. So, let's back it up here. Another reroll is available. Our shop should have uh, good items, or items at least, and there's the map. We'll definitely buy that. And we'll buy a key, one of the few things we could still um, actually use that the game can't actually provide for us by itself. So, we have a little bit more HP back here. I know that we could use the D20 super effectively here. How do we do it? We stack up HP, play the shit out of that blood bank, and then use the D20. Let's try to make that work. You know what? I'm going to take the bomb bag with me. It's not the item that I want it to be, but it's okay. We haven't been to our secret room either. We'll, we'll pick up whatever it is that's in there. But let's make our way to our boss first. Um, probably not worth it. I mean, maybe worth it, but not worth our only key. It's one of the few things that still gates us is a lack of keys. Maggie's Faith. So many spirit hearts to back us up. Might not be able to play uh, the blood banks in the future. Or, or maybe we'll play them and we won't worry too much about losing the... Uh... Well, let's put it this way. Maggie's Faith could end up being very useful, useful for us. Counterfeit Penny has already done its job. It's not going to be useful for us again. Except in like very, very like minute circumstances or like minute magnitudes. Like... I'm already at 47 cents. What do I care if we uh, if we don't get to 90 or something like that, right? Like, what do I care if I get an extra 10 cents over the course of the run as a result of Maggie's fate? Or as a result of Counterfeit Penny? I don't care at all is the answer to that question. So, we'll move along here. And we have the D20. And the D20 is something that I'm going to reroll. But first, we're going to get as much money to fall on the ground as is humanly possible. And then we're going to reroll it with D20, because I have Luckfoot, which means I exclusively get good pills, which means, you know, if pills show up, they're probably going to be pretty solid. Uh, mind you, we can also do some rerolls uh, with D20 first, because we'll have plenty of opportunities to um, get rerolls back via the Nun's Habit. So we might as well come in here, and we don't need this money, so let's reroll it. And uh, turned out pretty well, I'd say. Gave us telepills, which we can use to maybe get a deal with the devil after the mom fight. And then we'll just go to town here. One, two, and in my mind, it makes sense to reroll these on the fly. So if they're good, we can take them out of the rotation. But we, on the bad stuff, we can get as many rerolls as possible. So again, um, we probably don't want to pick up that red heart, but we can make a decision as time goes on. Let's take it and reroll these three, just to give us half of a reroll charge. So the key's nice, uh, the spirit heart's nice, the matchstick is not really. Uh, and the bombs, I kind of want to re-roll them, but we'll see. Alright, re-roll everything. So we got another spirit heart out of this. Uh, another tears upgrade pill, I think. Let's open these bad boys up. Could use, like, one more half red heart. It's another bomb and key. Uh, and plenty of money. I'm going to sacrifice half a spirit heart to, to keep re-rolling. But we're going to pick up our keys. Bombs, a little bit less meaningful. I shouldn't have picked up that penny. Uh, bombs, a little bit less meaningful for me, but... <clears throat> that's okay. All right, reroll everything. There's uh, some red hearts, so we can keep playing here. Why, why pick up the money? You ding dong, full health, luck up. That's fine. What's our tarot card? The Emperor. Pretty good. Telepills might be better. And there's tarot cards. So now we have a D6 reroll we can use here. The tarot card ended up being the world. Uh, not very meaningful for me. And there's money that we don't need, so we'll sacrifice another half a spirit heart to do this. And then I charged up the tarot card instead of the D6. That was smart, but at least we got one more card to re-roll. Let's pick up this bad boy. So we're going to sacrifice a full spirit heart to do this now. And we're going to stick with the Emperor card, I suppose. One. And now it paid out with IV bag. Which we can no longer get. You know what? I'm going to bomb myself to get one more D6, D20 charge. Reroll everything. 
Well, not everything, but a lot. And that gives us, you know, some more money, some more spirit hearts. Uh, and then we'll come back in here. I don't know, I don't know how that worked out for us, I'll just be honest. <laughs> I think it was okay. So we have Empress, Emperor. The Emperor card is obviously the most beneficial. Uh, so we walk out and then we get our D6 and we re-roll it and we're probably not gonna hurt ourselves anymore to do it, but... In a weird way, I think that worked out fantastically. Maybe? Now we have a lot of keys, at the very least. And we're not gonna re-roll D20, we'll instead re-roll the, the double item room that is essentially what our arcade has become. What a strange run. But a good strange, as opposed to the last run, which was very much a bad strange. So... In here, we re-roll both of these. We get the Rosary, which is fine, because we could use the Spirit Hearts, and we're gonna get a lot of re-rolls later. And Infestation, which is fine, at this point, largely because it just allows us to... basically... get another item out of the pool, and we've already gotten a lot of them out of the pool, so... Let's see what we've got in here. Two bombs, well worth a key, at this point. And down to the next floor! Weird! Very weird run! Good weird, but weird. Here's our first item room as Spoonbender. It's not terrible. Even though it looks kind of terrible because we have technology, it's not terrible. It's just not very good. So I'm going to reroll it, as you might expect. And um, we're not going to go to our secret room until we have a reroll ready, just in case it's an item that we don't want. Bob's Rotten Head, for example. But there's many. Maggie's Faith, so far so good. If we come across a, a blood bag, a blood bank, I should say. We're almost certainly going to sacrifice the Eternal Heart from Maggie's Faith to play it. And the reasons should be relatively obvious. I mean, we know that it's going to pay out with the Blood Bag eventually. We can use it as a reroll engine. We stand to gain a lot more than we stand to lose. Although we could stand to lose more than we stand to gain. The average is probably a gain versus a loss. So as much as I sometimes enjoy Spoonbender, goodbye. Holy Water, also, of course, uh, awful. Just, just straight up terrible. So... We're gonna keep on trucking here. And that's an easy room. I almost got hit by that. I would I would forgive myself, but it would take a second. Probably literally a second, given how relatively strong we are right now. And I'm glad I didn't totally play chicken with you there. What do I want? Compass! That's pretty much it. I could be persuaded to take some other shop items. But, but Compass is a big one. Getting a free HP upgrade from a golden chest that we got through like illicit D20 gains feels pretty solid as well. This floor is going really quickly. And I don't think there's very many ways that we end up losing this run. Could happen, but I don't think it's it's too bloody likely. More keys is, well, golden key in this case is always nice. Fighting super greed. He drops the quarter. Well, we have a reroll ready. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind using my reroll here. You could still get the one up or the onk or something. It could be meaningful. But yeah, that's kind of more along the lines of what I expected. Some money and some HP. And we're almost at full HP, and we're, we're stronger offensively than we were last run. We can fly, which we couldn't on the last run. We have a better trinket than we had on the last run. We have a better space bar item than we had on the last run. Uh, we have better HP than we had on the last run. This is just in every single way better than the last run, except I don't have Blue Candle, I guess, but I think D6 is better than Blue Candle, but whatever. So there's our Blood Bank, um, and as mentioned, we'll probably be re-rolling the shit out of it, or, um, uh, playing the shit out of it, I should say. So 9-volt, you know? I'm gonna buy it, even though we could have had the Compass instead. Let's use our Joker card. So Guppy's Paw's an interesting one, isn't it? I... could generate a, a, an absolute fuck ton of Spirit Hearts. Just a staggering amount of them. And I could have permanent Polaroid invincibility. But how does this Eternal Heart work with that little song and dance that we've got going on? I don't know. I kind of want to reroll it and then pick up both of them. So that's what I did. Well, I'm not going to pick up both of them, but I will pick up Rage. And that's a decision that I, you know, I went into it knowing full well that it's going to annoy some people no matter what I do. Uh, if, if I took Guppy's Paw and used it like crazy, people would say that I'm too overpowered. If I didn't take Guppy's Paw, people will say, you know, why didn't you take Guppy's Paw? It would have been so much fun to see you with that many spirit hearts. Shit happens. Um, you can't really leave after you go into that room, but I'm still totally open to the idea of just playing the shit out of this. And presumably getting the blood bag. We have enough spirit hearts to back us up until we get full HP again if we don't, but 
very much like to get the blood bag. I didn't pick up the IV bag before. I'm a smart guy, as you can tell. Uh, remote detonator, it's one of the best items to have to reroll. On the bright side, thanks to Infestation, we've got a nice little fly squadron following us around here. But yeah, it's safe to say that I feel pretty dumb about not picking up IV bag in that earlier situation. We will get some more rerolls here though. Hey, this is good. All right, Judgment. Yeah, I, it turned out to actually be terrible, but it could have been good. At least we've taken Kamikaze out. And there is a boss trap room. It's a shame that I can't really access it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, a shame, but that's okay though. So we'll reroll Kamikaze. And it has become Little Chad, which is awful. And that looks like it's gonna do it for this floor as far as items go, or as far as rerolls go. So, Red Mom. She's the rap game partner of Method Mom, as I've said every single time I've had this boss fight. Should be very, very easy. I mean, it's shaping up to be that way so far, at least. Just gotta watch out for the bullets that come out from the side. The main problem is if you dodge towards the bullets, it gives you a little bit less reaction time. Super easy boss fight, though. There's HP, there's the Polaroid. We ended up not gaining as much out of that Maggie's Faith uh, loss as I would have liked to. But whatever, there we go. Down to the next floor. Let's uh, let's tear some ass here. Utero XL. Utero XL means I do use the Emperor card here, in my opinion. Why? Because we get to skip um, like 30 rooms. Now they're 30 relatively easy rooms, but still, skipping them here, I think it's more advantageous than skipping the Cathedral, which is always the same size. Now this is uh, a little problematic. Probably shouldn't shoot directly into the horse because the knockback is risky. We have the HPs necessary that it doesn't really matter to me. And we could reroll Cuban Meat, but I'm not going to. Alright. So we're going to try a little bit of a different way to kill that guy this time. And third level Cuban Meat, please come over here. I like third level Cuban Meat, your mileage may vary. We now have no orbitals as a result of giving up that second level Cuban Meat. As you might expect, I will be saving bombs here just in case we end up needing them for later. Not having any orbitals is a little problematic given our... Um, Giving our, given our offense and the fact that we're shooting, you know, 10 times a second. That being said, this looks like it's going to be a little bit of a slower Mom's Heart boss fight, but not too slow. The problem is that fucking third level Meat Boy refuses to be away from Mama for too long, and then uh, we don't get very much time to actually uh, do damage to Mom's Heart. Very easy fight against the enemies that are being summoned, though, of course. There we go. Permanent bombs. That's, that's damage I'm not proud of, but that's okay. I couldn't really see where the bullets were coming from, so I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Loving the spirit heart, the money's worthless, the bomb could end up being meaningful. Alright, let's get some red hearts back, shall we? So this is a big floor, Curse of the Lost. Shouldn't have come down to this room, but uh, it's an easy one and maybe this is full health. It's not. That's okay, though. Alright, let's get back to some full health. In hindsight, might have been a little bit more beneficial to... Uh, try to actually go through all of the womb. I would have if I had the compass. I would have saved the Emperor card. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, let's let bygones be bygones. The reason I would have rather gone through the womb is because I stand a better chance to gain a lot of HP as a result. I don't think that's a controversial thing to say. That was terrible damage on my part. I'm starting to wish I, I'd gone a little bit harder on that Guppy's Paw situation, but whatever. We have, we have Miter. Spirit Art's dropping like crazy. Be afraid here. But with unlimited range, those bomb flies should be very easy. Thank you, third level Meat Boy, for supplementing my damage there. I, I really sincerely appreciate that a lot. I want to say it because, you know, positive reinforcement could actually lead to Meat Boy being semi useful for once. Alright, spiders are done. Our damage is so good. I would just, I would love to have some more red hearts to make me feel a little bit more comfortable in our overall HP. So, it's Gertie J. Now, if we are able to dodge, like, two Gertie Jr. waves here, we should be fine. More bombs from the bomb bag. And we've gone the wrong way, clearly. But this is an easy one. All we gotta do is not fuck it up. And we've gained so many advantages over the course of this run that if we end up losing, you know, it's clear who the, the fault hinges on. It's gonna be my bad. Not a special room, as you might expect. Kind of hopeful that we'd come across some libraries. Yeah! 
Uh, I was not kind of, very hopeful that we'll come across some libraries. Another reason that maybe I should have gone to the womb. Mm, it's not worth it. Or actually, like, played through the womb. It's okay, though. This is not a special room either. Careful. Good. Good stuff. And super greed. Probably shouldn't get that close. But as long as he stays as far away as possible, can't really do shit. Can't while well, he can hit me. I guess that's what he can do. That's some staggering amounts of money here. There's 99 cents, so... Hey, and there's our greed or our Isaac fight. This should be interesting. Um, I'm thinking that we... Alright. Thank you, me boy. I'm thinking that we just drop a fuck ton of bombs in. It's not really working out that well. How the hell am I gonna dodge this? There is just way too many shots coming in. We're gonna have to tank it. So, it, it, you know, if, if your goal is to tank it, best thing we can do is uh, just do damage as quickly as possible. We don't have Poison Touch anymore. Or we never had it. I think we had the option to pick it up. But yeah, we, we've just gotta up our DPS as much as is humanly possible. Now, let's keep this up. Oh, that was good damage on his part. I don't begrudge him that. We would be in a, such a better position if we had permanent Polaroid invincibility right now. That Guppy's Paw decision is the only thing that can end up haunting me at this point. That being said, we have so many spirit hearts that I feel very, very good about our chances, in, even in spite of the damage that I've taken so far. Angel Fetus is a little bit hardier than I thought they would be, but... Oh, yeah, dodge right into that one. That's the rule, right? You dodge into the bullets, not away from them. And Isaac's gonna die. There he goes. That full red heart is useful. We did lose about five spirit hearts, but that's okay. All right, now these chests become useful again. Peeper's Eye. Speed upgrade. Quad shots. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel's a must. I have no idea how quad shot affects tech two, so I'm gonna reroll the other three. Yeah. Okay, Poison Bombs and Mr. Mega is a great one-two punch. Now, um, let's let's fight Pestilence first here. So now we have, I believe we have Homing Bombs. Do we have, no, maybe that was the last run. So we have Homing, oh no, sorry, we have Mr. Mega Poison Bombs, which is great. If there is any way that I can give myself invincibility, I'm talking like a Space Bar, Unicorn Horn, or Book of Shadows, both of which we've already seen and re-rolled, unfortunately, for my current situation. That would be lovely. Gotta re-roll here. Dead bird. Terrible. Terrible item. The boss has got to be far right. Like, at this point, I'm... Let's just be honest with it. With ourselves, that's where it's going to be. Oh, thank you. Uh, and we, we should probably try to kill Wrath last. So we can get uh, bombs or maybe a bomb item even. But at this point, it doesn't really matter that much. It, that's how it worked out for us. But it would have been fine the other way, too. Looks like we got a long floor ahead of us, but I would predict a victory here. You know, CNN does, like, presidential predictions. It's going to be like that. 67% um, chance with, uh, you know, eight of nine floors reporting. Thank you for the spirit heart. I will take it. Immediately. Okay. Let's see what we got. 32 bombs means I'm not too wary about using them. Sure, thanks for the money. That's useful. Shouldn't really be complaining about how this run has gone, but... I'll complain about how that room specifically has gone. That was uh, dangerous there. And another reroll is ready. That was good. Uh, good bomb. You put me in a difficult position there. More power to you, I suppose. It's kind of your job. Yeah, there we go. So we're up to full red hearts. Spirit hearts probably getting dwindled down a little bit here, but that's okay. Harlequin baby gets rerolled into Limon mishap. Terrible. Absolutely awful. All right, double super rat. Gives me a chance to maybe get our last bomb-related item. Could also be a chance to be totally wrong about that, by the way. Oh. That was close. One of you's gotta be dead soon. This is like a race between me and Meat Boy to see who does more damage. And, as you might expect, the answer ends up being me. Good. More spirit hearts. We're, we're gonna win. It just looked dire for a while. Could still... Oh, there we go. Homing Mr. Mega Poison Bombs. Pretty good. So now all we gotta do is actually make our way over there. On the bright side, we don't have to backtrack anymore because we don't have any red chests going down. So, we'll just hang back and, uh, you know, whenever you see fit to consume a bomb that will take out half of your HP, you just let me know. Very happy to be obliged. Uh, very happy to oblige, I guess is the way that should go. Oh, yeah, good damage on my part there. Really excited about that. 
uh, spirit heart hemorrhaging that I've made happen there. There we go. More keys. If I come across some golden chests, I'll be happy to use them for their appropriate function and nothing else. I don't know why that sounded so suspicious. And Trip Loki is not my favorite room at this point. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Some double poison damage, double bomb damage. Stand back. All right, Meat Boy. Are you actually, you are doing damage to Loki. It just looked like you were completely impotent there for a while. All right, single Loki. We can probably take damage on every single room. If we take one damage on every single room, I think we would still live and be fine. I would rather not. Safety cap, probably substantially better than the Polaroid. We're only gonna get one invincibility from the Polaroid, so not a huge problem. Obvious, this one's the simplest of, of all the rooms, really. Um, we, we kill Wrath, or sorry, we kill uh, Sloth Blast. Careful. There we go. Careful. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, I've taken a little bit too much damage. We're starting to run out of spirit hearts. If we only have red hearts going into this blue baby fight, I think it might be slightly problematic. Oh, two of diamonds. Excellent. And the stars. Both totally worthless. Free room. This is what I like. Now, it's just a race to the end. A little too slow to be happy about fighting Super Lust. But the bombs keep them at bay pretty well. And we can afford to use an awful lot of them. That's the good stuff right there. All right, that pill. We don't know. It's tears up. We've had many of those so far. I'm surprised that that one was not identified somehow. All right, so we drop a bomb in here. Completely fuck up the uh, order that they were going for. That's good, though. The bombs are so potent that it doesn't really matter if they're out of sync with one another because they're going to die. There we go. We're good. We're gonna win. It, it ended up being a little bit, you know, less elegant than I was hoping. Every second bomb gets wasted here. That's not really, uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, metrics that I want to sustain. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That might have worked, actually. We're, I'm just using bombs because why would I use anything else in this situation? We're gonna be tanking all the shots anyway. Might as well just do what does the most damage. There we go! Relatively easy win. I uh, got a little dire there for a second, but we figured it out. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.